And if you like experiencing other cultures, well, you will love an event going on in Rockford all month long during Women's History Month. It's called Experience India. And if you caught us last weekend, we introduced you to a program coordinator to talk about the now virtual event. But joining us this morning to talk about some academic programs involved, Julie Klinger, a Rockford native, now a current professor at the University of Delaware. Thank you so much for being here, Julie. Uh, thanks for having me. Well, let's start with the pretty basics of, of what, what's going on with your end of Experience India. Can you tell us a little bit about your involvement with uh, Experience India itself? Sure. So Experience India is this beautiful collaboration between Women's Space, which is a Rockford organization which focuses on empowering women in all dimensions of their lives, and uh, Jule, which is uh, a nonprofit fashion social enterprise cooperative society based in Maheshwar in India, which is founded by another Rockford native, Hannah Warren. Uh, and so I, it's been my pleasure to uh, be Frana, be it's been my pleasure to be Hannah's friend uh, and uh, thinking partner in the journey in developing the organization um, and also in thinking through this event. I've served on the coordinating committee and all of that. And so uh, as an academic, uh, I brought in the academic side of things. And it turns out, you know, in the greater Midwestern area, there's all sorts of experts on all things India. What kind of things do you hope people will learn from experts like you in, in these academic programs? Well, the academic programs that we are including in, as part of the free programming of uh, Experience India include, you know, short, short talks explaining things that, that people are curious about, like arranged marriage, for example, uh, or Bollywood cinema, you know, which is, of course, a, a massive, uh, globally influential uh, movie industry. Uh, we also have uh, people from uh, Indiana University who are talking about, you know, the worship of trees and uh, the idea of, of goddesses inhabiting trees. And so there's just a lot of different angles to explore the richness of Indian uh, culture and arts and also the contributions of uh, Indian culture to global society and, you know, our uh, regional culture as well. Let's talk about the logistics of this. You're joining us from the East Coast. Can you talk about what it's been like to collaborate on a project in your hometown from about India, from all the way in Delaware? You know, one of the, if, if there is a silver lining uh, to the difficulties of the pandemic that we've all lived through over the past year, it's that we've all pivoted pretty quickly to connecting across distance uh, without the need to meet in person. And so, you know, this is the first year that I've been really involved in Experience India specifically because, you know, it was Hannah's vision that, well, if we can't meet in person, then we can certainly connect globally, so we may as well go big. And so this makes it possible for example, for there to be now these virtual connections between Rockford and India and everywhere in between. You know, I should also mention that in addition to the academic programming uh, featuring uh, professors from universities around the Midwest, you know, there's also academic programming bringing in uh, professors from London, from the School of Oriental and African Studies. You know, people who are invested in uh, the topics that are celebrated and explored through Experience India. And, you know, this is a way for us to live in a new way, right? This uh, beautiful idea of being part of a global village. That has to be the most uplifting way to look at uh, what we've done <laughs> in the last year. Can you talk about how your ex expertise in geography and spatial sciences has helped you form some of these academic programs that people will learn from people like you and others? Oh, thank you for that question. So uh, I'm a geographer and geographers are really interested in understanding why things happen where they happen. And so the kind of students who are drawn to this discipline are students who are really passionate about addressing the biggest problems facing the world. And, you know, uh, oftentimes, you know, they come in with a global perspective and they want to take on everything all at once. Sorry about the background noise. Should I? No, that's okay. Say that Keep again? going. Okay. Um, so oftentimes, you know, students who discover geography discover it because they really care about solving some of the world's biggest problems. And ultimately, what I end up telling them and, off and using organizations like Jule and Women's Space as an example is if you want to make a difference in the world, you have to have a commitment to a specific place and a specific community, and you have to be in it for the long haul. And I think Jule is actually an example of that. You know, the organization uh, has been active in the community in central India uh, for about 12, maybe 13 years now. And it was a very organic thing, right? Uh, it's 
uh, Julie's founder, Hannah Warren, she didn't go out with a set of solutions looking for a problem, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, what geographers try to do is we try to understand why things happen where they happen. Why are people more vulnerable in this place? Why is it easier or more difficult for people to connect in some other places? And, you know, these are the kinds of questions that are actually really fun to explore in the context of a festival like Experience India, where we can find new ways to connect communities that maybe haven't been connected before. Well, we definitely appreciate your time connecting with us today, Julie, really appreciate it. My pleasure, take care. There are still so many ways you can experience India from the programs that we just talked about to meditation sessions and trying Indian cuisine. You can do that all by heading to julie.org. That ends our half hour here on Only the Good News. I hope you learned something. Be sure to join us next week for more great things going on in our community and across.